know a lot of you guys ain't up right now, but we'll, uh, we'll see who all trickles in. Just want to uh, kind of uh, just chat with you guys and touch base on, uh, I don't say touch base, just, just uh, whoever's up, maybe have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, not, we probably won't even break 100 tonight. But um, I just want to just kind of, this is a, it won't be loud and, uh, and extravagant, but uh, it will be, um, you know, just, you can say heartfelt, if that's the word, no beta shit. It's even more heartfelt, more mellow, because um, I, uh, you know, I'm always on your mind. Oh, excuse me, you guys are always on my mind. Excuse me. And uh, I appreciate all you guys supporting what you guys are doing out there. Um, shout out to Nick Shaleku. Um, for those two shekels, been working uh, very soft for the, the lack of action. It's all good. Shout out to Cal Newman. Make sure you guys donate to the uh, Mountain Dew Fund. Running out. I <laughs> said, uh, no homo. Shout out to Malala the Elephant. I just want to um, kind of just talk to you guys. I don't know. I might be on for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, three hours. With the tablet at 100%. So, um, however the mood is, however long we go, it's just, uh, you know, I won't be answering any calls tonight. Um, possibly tomorrow. Just want to talk to you guys and touch base with, uh, you know, about, about a few things. Um, it's at two, three euros, I believe. Make sure you guys donate to the church, whoever's in here, to the Juice Fund. If you if, if you guys not sent in tonight, um, say, hey, Pastor, we appreciate you. Hey, Darius, uh, MKD, Nick Tanaz, Darius, we appreciate you. Here goes some shekels, two, three, five, how many shekels um, you think this motivation and uh, camaraderie is, is, is worth? Just, uh, Shout out to uh, Okizumi, Okizumi boy, donate to the Juice Fund. Thank you, brother. Um, I'll put the PayPal link up in a second if you guys want to donate through there. I just, um, this is just, just, just a red pill meeting because not just society or women, but just both of them overall, we're getting, you know, beat down and um, we got to, uh, we don't get a fair shake. You understand what I'm saying? When it comes to, uh, when it comes to pretty much anything, you know, we have, we have the courts not on our side. We have uh, um, our children taken away, and we got to pay. You know, so many suicides. Um, a big one that I want to uh, touch base on tonight is a lot of guys are, are suffering from depression, be it from uh, maybe like I say you can't see your children. Maybe you dealt with rejection, um, but uh, or whatever's going on in your life. Us men, we're resilient. We we know that. You guys know this. Um, this is why they want to break us down. I mean, they want to lift women up, but break us down because they know we're strong. If they take away the head, us, the strength, then they can just get to the women. They can manipulate them any type, any sort of way. And this might seem uh, like a little ramble. But uh, shout out to Cougar Killer, Brandon D, um, the London Red Pill. There's do a live stream with Angry Man um, twice in one day. Um, I did not really do this, but I just want to kind of just chop it up. I know we might not have, we, not, we, not, we might not even break 100 right now, but uh, 100 people watching, and whoever's in here is in here. A lot of guys are taking women on dates. Not getting much out of it. You actually you're not getting anything out of it. Uh, you're paying your hard-earned money. You uh, and you know, you, you're getting a raw deal tonight. A lot of guys are getting a raw deal tonight. You know, once you start taking women on dates, it's it's never enough because now she's in control. You understand what I'm saying? And you don't want to. I mean, you don't want to be in that predicament because one, you're getting used and, and manipulated and. And whatnot, you get your, uh, your money and resources extorted, and that's that's not that's not a, a fun thing. It doesn't feel good, you know, to take a woman on a date. A lot of guys take women on dates tonight. Um, it was a study um, shows that uh, eighty five percent of women don't call or text back, or there ne there's never a second date after that. Eighty five percent, guys. And this is not, this is no BS. It's 85% of women 
to not give a guy a second date. Would you just think about that? 85%. And I'm, I'm keeping it 100. Now, granted, she might text him, hey, I had a great time. But 85% of men do in 2018 do not get a second date, guys. And when, when I come to think about it, all the times I took women on dates, took them out. If I took 10 women out, I probably got a second date or or hook up or whatever the case would be. And that's just true. When I think about it, like that, that's a that's a pretty accurate number. So that's that goes to show that the game is really rigged and there's no benefit in you dating or let alone getting in a relationship. You know, you will always um, lose because you want the sex. And some guys is, some guys genuinely not just want sex, they want uh, the affection. They want the love from a, a from a woman, from a female, and uh, you're basically paying for it. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? You're paying um, for someone to love you. That, that's how desperate us men have gotten. And uh, it, it's, it's crazy. We are literally paying because it goes back to male mother me. And I'm not taking no phone calls tonight, guys. I can hear my phone <laughs> over there buzzing. Um, goes back to male mother me. We're, we're, we, we're not, a lot of us, our moms are probably still in our lives. She's probably alive, but we don't get that care that, um, that I love you, that I, I, I care about you. Um, keep going, son. Um, you, you handsome, you, whatever the case may be. So we're paying to hear those different things. You understand what I'm saying? You know, we're paying fifty dollars, sixty, seventy, a hundred dollars a day. Some guys are going excessive, two, three hundred, just to um, get a hug and a kiss and a, you know, I appreciate you and, and whatnot. You know, that's how thirsty men are for for validation, and it's and it's tough, um, trifo, to get self validation. It really is. It's, it's tough. It's tough to get self validation because you got to look within, and you got it's it's not a one time thing where, you know, you get a promotion at work. Okay, I'm good. No, it's a daily thing. It's an hourly thing, minute by minute, day by day. You understand what I'm saying? You can't just it's self validation. You it's a lifelong process. You understand what I'm saying? Life long. And when you don't get that love and validation, it you go from the mother that you used to, or the touch, because again, we used to come home from from uh, from school or uh, or whatever the case may be. Thank you, Brian Page. And uh, and I'm taking, I'm talking to the general guy, the, the average man out there. We used to come at home from school or wherever case may be growing up, and our mothers, you know, loving on us, and, you know, or we used to just seeing that feminine touch. You know what I'm saying? You you used to getting a hug or or whatever the case may be from your mom, or you might get your grades, and your dad might be on you do better, but you you go to your mom and, and she's telling you, um, you know. It's gonna be all right, type of thing. Um, those, it's gonna be all right. I haven't heard that. Oh, uh, and I'm I'll be thirty years old in January. I haven't heard it's gonna be all right in so long, man. It, it's uh, and I'm not sad about it. It's just um, when I when I come to think about it right now, just that alone will can help a man work like an extra hundred hours a week. You understand what I'm saying? But us men, we're not getting that at all. Shout out to DJ for showing up. We're not getting that. So guess what we're doing? We're searching. We're online dating. We're we're uh, talking to women because we need that validation. That's what it's about. It's about validation. We, us men, are craving that. We the only thing we literally want. If, if you think about it, guys. Shout out to Dennis Green, Chronicles of AJ. We're literally buying homes. We're working to the bone just to get a thank you. Just to get, um, hey, keep going and, and, and keep 
you know, keep it up. We're, we're paying for an I love you. You understand what I'm saying? We're working uh, every single day for uh, affirmation and, and affection from women. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, that that's that's a tough pill to swallow because you you would never win that because it's all dependent on what you can do for her. So if though you're not providing and uh, taking her out and doing this and that and you those uh, I love yous or those I care about you um, or you know that that's that's not a that's not that's not it, you that's not going to be there for you. You know, and that's where a lot of guys uh, become hurt and down and sad because at the end of a relationship or, or, or in the middle, whatever the case may be, towards the end, we go, okay, I've worked, I grinded, you know, I thought you loved me, I thought you cared about me, I thought you was there for me, going to be there for me. But again, it's all dependent on what you're doing for her currently. And if you're not giving her anything, if you're not, um, you know, providing, taking on vacations, whatever the case may be. If you're not doing those things, guess what? Um, it, it doesn't matter what she, what you did in the past. It's, it's what have you done for me lately when it comes to women. And she's not going to give you that um, I care about you, uh, whatever the case may be. She don't give you that uh, those words of affirmation, those that affection that you haven't gotten uh, since you were a kid. You understand what I'm saying? It's not the sex and pussy that men are yearning. Yes, that's that's huge, but uh, that feminine touch when it does, when it, I, I'm gonna keep it real. The feminine touch, just you know, that, that's that's a huge thing. That's big to me because it can it can um, put you at peace. Shout out to ZZS for donating five shekels. Let's get a donation fund going out. Y'all continue to contribute. Um, I'll put up the PayPal link in a second. But um, and right for you, so I'm I'm sick I'm sick of them too. I got a buddy that makes six figures and he's tall and very successful and this nigga still gets flaked on and ghosted sometimes. When he gets one, they be bad as hell, but a lot of them still flake. You know, um, shout out to Melody the Elephant. It's true. And, it, and it's um, it's sucking. It's unfortunate because uh, you put your best foot forward. You, uh, and I talked about this before, briefly. You grind. You, 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 you looking good. You got your hair cut. You got a nice outfit. You, you, you actually rehearsed <laughs> uh, when I was growing up, or not when I was growing up, my, my PUA, I mean my blue pill days. Um, I used to, uh, shout out to Booker Ralph around me, I think he was in here earlier. You know, I used to pump myself, I said, okay, this chick attractive, you know, just just to, you know, shout out to uh, Booker Ralph around me and Love of the Elephant, Brian Page, Beats by Seven, Seven to God, all these guys are in here. You know, you rehearsing in your head, okay. I can't do this on the date. I can't do this. And you, you got your eyes closed. You say, okay, I like this chick. And we genuinely, genuinely like these women. You know, and guys are out there tonight genuinely like these women. And for women, it, you got to realize they don't like you like that. It's all a game. Uh, and you, it's, a, it's an interviewing process that she's doing, for you, that she's got you going through. That she has multiple guys going through. So if something you did she don't like, yes. I'm telling you, she will smile. I, I've had women that smile through their teeth, that, that say, oh, you look, you look handsome today. You, everything was great. And after the date, um, that was, it was nothing. I say that because a lot of dudes think all you need is a nice car and a good job, and that ain't good enough anymore to guarantee you don't get flaked on or ghosted. Online dating changed the game. Exactly. It, it just changed it, man. It, it's, it's, when you think, it's like you're... Like, if you're going to lose, I'm keeping it real. You're going to lose when you're dealing with women. Shout out to Tay Baptista. Hey, Tay Baptista, I got your five shepherd donation via PayPal earlier, man. It was kind of through the stream. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. I didn't forget about it. Exactly. Being successful uh, to, uh, means a lot, but, uh, but if you ain't promising the world, those women will, will still flake. Uh, and uh, it, it, that's how it is, man. And you got to realize the older they get, the more, um, the more they're gonna want from you. The more they're gonna request. The more they're gonna demand because they want that certain lifestyle. But they're not giving you the same. They're not reciprocating. Let's say you give hundred percent. They're reciproc. They're, they're reciprocating ten percent. 
The ten percent is sex, man. That's it. You you only getting sex, you only getting pussy, and um and they, and they use or and you supposed to be happy with it. And that, and that sex is not after each date. It's not after each date. It's when she's ready to give it to you. But you as a man, you got to continue to uh, come up with new dates, come up with new venues, new drinks, new atmospheres. Uh, you got to have a great social circle. You got to have a lot of friends. You got to have a lot of different things to, you know, to vibe and whatnot. And um, that's that's just tough as a man. That, that's that's literally tough. Like, I, I can't shout to um, Danny's, Danny's boy, Metal Cave, and uh, Christopher Lucas for doing it all five shuffles, man. Y'all, let's keep it coming, guys. If you haven't contributed in here, if you want to, go right ahead. Let me get the PayPal link in a second. Right now, excuse me. So back to what I was saying. Um, if you're not providing, if you're not giving, you you're uh, you're you are you mean nothing to these women, man. You ain't getting nothing. And and, um, and a lot of times, like just having children as well, especially um, not sons, uh, but having daughters as well. You um, because I got two. If any of you guys got children, you it's the same thing. You know, it's always about uh, you know. What can you bring to the table? Hey, dad, or daddy, whatever the case may be. Uh, can we go here? Can we get this? And it's like, okay, at least that's, at least I'm giving to my blood, you know. Um, so with a female, it, it's uh, it's it's all contingent about what are you doing for her. And if you're not doing anything, you are nothing. Um, yeah, don't I don't I agree. Don't cold approach. Don't ever cold approach. <laughs> Believe me, I, I'm not cold approach the bitch at Target. Um, not too long ago. Um, she targeted what just above minimum wage, probably ten dollars an hour here in Chicago. Like she, she lived with her parents. She's like, I live with my parents. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I just you know just got a little background herself. So bitch rejected me. She was like, she was thick, but it was like, damn, like you're not even all that. So, and I got my life together. So just, just I, honestly, just don't cold approach, man. I just, I, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Um, this is not coming from a place of hurt or, or anger. None of that. It's the fact that um, you gotta just write this stuff down on a piece of paper. You know, what am I getting from going on this date with this woman tonight? Even if you score, even if you get the pussy, if you have sex, okay, now what? You understand what I'm saying? You're fucking over too much. You give the shot to Con West. You giving too much. You know, it's, it's it's tough out there. That's why I tell you guys, man. The, the route that we're going right now, you might as well go make that. Like, and I, and I honestly hear another thing about dating coaches, and I see it. Because a lot of times I, do, I just sit back behind the scenes and, and check out different things. Facebook, Twitter. But these dating coaches, they're talking about red pill MGTOW content, man. Because deep down, guys, believe it or not. And if you you can hear it in, your, uh, in different dating coaches' channel. Especially the black dating coaches. You know, that's going to keep it real and raw. You know, they're gonna tell you, hey man, you can hear it in a post, man. It is they they're see they have to put on a pseudo front for YouTube because they gotta sell a product. But when it comes to Facebook, Twitter, they're talking about man, these bitches ain't shit. I'm keeping it real. I could pull up posts right now. Like they're talking about, hey, what they they're they're asking questions. It's like and I just sit back and laugh, you know. These dating coaches are asking questions, not on YouTube, on different social media platforms, and putting up posts like, man, why should I do this? Why should I do this? Why should, you know? Because even the dating coach, yeah, listen to me. 
Let me tell y'all something. Even the dating coaches know the game is rigged. You understand what I'm saying? They just have to sell a product because they got to get money. All right? Don't let them uh, fool you or be ups- or like, no. These dating coaches know the game is rigged. They know these women ain't shit. They know they're too much to handle. They're too much to deal with. You know? Just think about this. Um, just say you spend $50 on one day, on, on a date, per date. Let's say you're going two dates a week, okay? Some of y'all going on different, a lot of different dates. Um, so, you go on two dates a week, $50. That's 100, that's $400 a month. <laughs> that's $400 a month, man. That shit crazy, bro. trying to get you guys to realize, man, that shit is like, I'll just get up here and talk for my health, man. I'll just get up here and just chit chat and, and because I got shit to do. <clears throat> I get up here because, listen, I, I want you guys to, to value your time and, and energy. <clears throat> Not just what women do, it's just in life in general. Because um how society sees you is is basically disposable, man. You you um you're just a disposable commodity and, and once you once they're done with you, they're done with you. Whether it's the courts, whether it's your wife, whether it's your girlfriend. And a lot of men are, are becoming depressed because they feel like, hey, um, I'm trying to fulfill my purpose. I'm trying to fulfill my biology and, and go to work for a female, for a, for a wife, for my children. But at any moment, it could get ripped away. That uh, Those words of encouragement, those I love you, those you know I care, those can be ripped away at any moment. Any moment. And you can even be grinding, doing what you're doing, make $100,000 a year. If another guy makes one hundred fifty, one two hundred thousand a year, um, that's 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 it, man. That shit is, uh, it's tough, bro. <laughs> Man, bro. That's just, that's just, yeah.
But anyway, that's what I was saying. You know, uh, I got an email from this guy, this kid, right? And that's what made me go live today, too. Or uh, uh, live right now. Because, uh, anyway, I got this email from this kid. I'll, I should read it out. But, um, you know, he was saying, you know, uh, I appreciate your advice. And, uh, you know, I'm 13. You know, I'm getting ready to go into uh, high school, freshman and everything. And I'm like, he's like, uh, you know, I like this chick. And I'm like, God damn it, I always start like that. You know, I appreciate your advice, uh, but I like this chick. And I'm like, God, why do you have to start like that? Um, you got great videos. Um, and I'm like, this is, you know, what do you tell a, a 13 year old kid? You can't tell me, you tell what you want. I mean, his dad ain't gonna tell him shit. <coughs> His dad going to, you know, his dad beta, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm like, man, what do I, what do I tell this dude that, uh, that, is, that, you know, that is how the shot of the world really is? That, um, you know, you get married, you know, what, you, what do you tell him? I mean, and like he like 18, 20 or whatever, he had his, pr no, he, he, I mean, it's like, I'm reading the message, I'm like, okay, 13 year old kid, he's like, and then he, he goes, um, he says, you know, uh, Pastor, and you know, when I get some money and everything like that, I'm a, uh, when I get my first job, I'm gonna donate to you. I'm like, man, you don't gotta donate to me, man. <clears throat> you know, you you a cool guy. You know, yeah, you know, I mean, what was allowance? You know, you don't know. But this, um. This is why I get up here and do these videos and, and live stream, bro. Because I know, um, no, he's a 13 year old kid, email me. <laughs> Real shit. And I'm like, man, this is why I do these live streams and videos because it's not about uh, us understanding women and, and, you know, getting through a real pure rage and all this other shit like that. It's because, uh, you know, these, these kids are legit in high school. <clears throat> and they want to know, is this how the world really is? It's like, yo, this is how it is. You know, this is how it is. This is how it's going to be. There's no need to fight it. There's no need to, um, none of that. This, this is how it's going to be uh, until, you, until you die. If you're not providing or doing something, um, you obsolete. You 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 down the drain. You you actually you just legit toilet paper. I mean, they done with you. Um, they wipe their ass with you and toss it. You understand what I'm saying? And he's like, yeah, you know, I want kids, but I want uh, you know, uh, he just wrote me alone. I'm like, who typed this? And he had you know good typing. He he had no grammatical errors. Probably used uh Microsoft Word or something like that. Um, and he's like, you know, I want kids. I want to, I want to get married. You know, I thought, I think it would be cool. And I'm like, how do you tell somebody that, that's young, that's that young, youngest email I got today was today. Like, how do you tell somebody that's 13 that's, you know, this is what the fuck is going to be. You, you basically, um, you know, this is how it is. And you just, you know, I didn't even reply back to the kid. I was just like, <clears throat> Shit. I mean, what do you say? What do you say? Because that can depress a kid. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I, gotta, I choose my words effective, effectively because the truth can depress anybody. You know? That's why I have a lot of these uh, live streams, like three per week, is because um, a lot of guys are literally are literally depressed. You know? They don't have children like, like see, I got my two daughters. And I got them, uh, majority of the time, I got uh, full custody, you know. So that um, salt is the blow, I guess. A lot of guys, they on child support, they can't see their kids. They, they um, in and out of work. They just, they just want some, some sort of affection. You know, exactly. It's like, okay, it's like, 
When you found out no Santa, it ain't no Santa Claus. When you found out, listen, this is what's going on. Son, if you want to get married, you know, this is what's going to happen most likely. If you don't do this, this, and that, this is going to happen. And again, a lot of kids, a lot of guys just want to, you know, you know what's really sad? <clears throat> when you hear, when I mean, guys just, guys just want some affection. No homo, you know, because I, I could care fucking less. I mean, I'll just bust my nut and I'm out, <laughs> I'm out of there, you know. But a lot of guys want, uh, want some, some sort of affection, some sort of, uh, you know, they, they won't, hey, I appreciate you type of thing. You got to realize when you out here dealing with these women, um, you're, 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 you're paying guys. Like, I used to go on dates, right? And I used to, I used to pay the money and everything like that and pay for the date. I used to look at the chick like, did she like it? Did she, um, like, I didn't even care about the, I didn't care about the pussy at that like at that time. I was just like, I hope she liked the date. I hope she liked me. Type. So I'm paying. When I look back, I was paying for validation. Like you're, we're paying for not just pussy, but validation, affection. That's what we're paying for, guys. You know, right? I was like, hey, did she like it? I'm like, and I'm like, uh, you know, analyzing everything. And I'm like, you know, that's what it's about. Guys, some guy on a date right now, taking a woman, it's so many. Hundred thousand, a hundred thousand guys at least in America is taking a woman on a first date tonight. Matter of fact, I got a. How many states is it right now? It is. How many states? It's fifty states. Let's say, let's just say, ten thousand first dates are gonna happen tonight. Ten thousand first dates in your state. So if you live in Wyoming, Texas, you know Texas is huge as hell. Texas was its own country. Florida, California. Let's say 10,000 out of Chicago, Illinois. So 10,000 first dates that are going to happen that ha well, that's, that's happened tonight in the United States. Multiply that by 50 states. That's 500,000. And, and that's just being nice because we know it's more than that. That's 500,000 first dates. That happened tonight. You want to be a little nice? Let's just say, let's just say, two hundred and fifty thousand first dates happened tonight, y'all. How many of you think are gonna call those guys back? How many? How many second dates you think that's gonna happen? How about that? How many second dates out of two hundred and fifty thousand? I want to say, bro, it's actually 15% done research before I got on here. So you at, what, eight, ten thousand 10,000 dates, 15,000 dates, that's, that's a lot of fucking money. And let's do the math too. Let's say, and I said 250,000, that was just being nice. 250,000 first dates tonight times Let's say, let's just say you spend thirty dollars on a day. We know motherfuckers spend way more. Time thirty dollars. That's seven million five hundred thousand dollars spent on first dates on women tonight. And that's just saying that you spend thirty dollars. We know motherfuckers spend way more than thirty dollars. I don't know when the last time I spent like when I used to date and shit. I don't remember the last time I spent thirty dollars on a date. Seven million five hundred thousand, and we know it's more because we got motherfuckers spending two, three hundred dollars on dates, a hundred dollars, fifty, seven. Come on, bro. Bitches ain't tolerating. Um, you take them to Applebee's and that's it. That's twenty, thirty. That's thirty dollars. That's actually forty dollars. And she gonna want a drink. That, that's that's crazy.
I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ, that's too much. Shout out to um, Marcus Brown, my brother Marcus Brown. Families are unstable and something drives the economy. Thank you, Marcus Brown. You understand what I'm saying? Wow. Let, like, I, I, I can't even fathom that right now. Wow. So let's just say, let's do it better. 500,000, excuse me, 5,000 first dates are happening in your state right now. We know it's more than that. Times 50. 250,000 first dates are happening in the United States. Times, let's say $30 per date. And we know it's more than that. $7,500,000 worth of dates happening in the United States tonight. That, that's, that's crazy, ain't it? That's insane. And guess how many guys when we call back? About 15%. Go get a second date. That's a real game, bro. So, we, I'm coming to you tonight and saying, listen, do you want to play that game? Do you want to try and, 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 and <laughs> listen, you're going to lose. Like, like, here's the thing. I don't like playing games I'm going to lose. And I'm an athlete. I'm probably the, one of the most competitive guys you freaking know. Three sport athlete growing up. I don't like playing games that I know that I'm going to lose. I analyze everything. I see how I can beat it. It's like you're playing a referee one on one, and he has control of the game. He can blow the whistle anytime. <laughs> Literally, that's what it is. You're playing basketball one on one with a referee up to 11. By ones and twos. Two, three, twos where the three pointers at, and ones, you know, inside the arc. Anytime he blows his whistle, you might as well stop and give, give him the ball. Or he can call it off. <laughs> I mean, good God. You can anytime he blows his whistle, he makes the rules. He can say, if you dribble, ball, the ball is mine. If you shoot, if you anything. You're playing a rigged game that you're not going to win. You understand what I'm saying? You're not going to win that. She controls it. She's the referee. You're never enough. Why hook up with women just to fall in love? Then have her smash your heart. Exactly, Gemini. Man, I'm telling you, this does the trick. This does the trick. It, it, it does the trick, man. If you think I'm lying, go ahead. Just get you a fleshlight. Honestly, guys, you can buy a lifetime supply of fleshlights. Literally. For far less than you what you would pay for with a woman. Real talk. If anybody want to donate via PayPal, I'll put up the link. <clears throat> Taking them to the park are my favorite in case I don't spend a damn dime. At least you know the rules to the game now. But guess what? The reason <laughs> the reason guys continue to play the rigged game is because not just sex. It's because they just men just genuinely want that companion. Right? Men genuinely say, fuck, I'll pay to have a companion. Isn't that shit crazy, man? I'll put up with Name calling. I'll I'll take the risk. Just think about this. I'll take the risk of um, me going out on this first, second, third date, not getting any pussy, not getting anything, and risk. And hopefully, she accepts my gratitude. 
Hopefully she accepts that. I just, so many guys just literally want to be accepted. No homo, no, no. I mean, that, so many guys not just want pussy because pussy going to be there. So many men want to be accepted and loved and, and uh, just appreciated. Do you realize men just want to thank you? But guess what? It, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. You understand what I'm saying? You got to please them to get any sort of affection. I have saved so much by not playing the game with bitches. Oh my God, so much. But you got to realize women get validation. They turn, they, they can sit in their house all day for the rest of their life and they will get validation. Us men, we cannot do that. We have to go out, work for it, take women on dates, treat them this way, just to get validation. That's how you know the game is rigged because women can just sit and say, oh, okay, let me get on a dating app or let me do this and... Uh, you know, and they can get all the validation all day. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's just rigged. Don't play it, man. Uh, just, just go your own way. That's all you have to do. I know it's tough because you want that validation, but guess what? You got to tell yourself. You got to practice um, giving your, yourself uh, great words of encouragement. You got to tell yourself every day that you worth more than a date and a thank you. And, you know, and, and I'll keep it real. I'm more, I'm, I'm a diehard red pill. I, I mean, good God, you ain't breaking me. But deep down, every once in a while, every once in a while, you know, I can, I can feel the, it's seeping up. Okay, you know, it'll be cool. To get married. Of course it would. But guess what? Not in this day and age. It would be cool to have a girlfriend. But guess what? Not in this day and age. It would be cool to have a relationship. Some, some, a companion. But not in this day and age. A woman can live with you for three to five years. And take you to court. And get palimony, fam. She can take you to court just for being your girlfriend. Can you believe? You, I can't. I think, I think it's seven years here. In, uh, in, I think five to seven years in Illinois right here. She can take you to court just for having pieces of mail come to her house. She living with you and she can get your money. You don't even have to be married. Tell me that shit ain't rigged, bro. Like, who would want to play that shit? Like, come on, man. Like, like how, how can you how can you fault a man for going mental? There's so many pitfalls out there. You have to be literally you have to be insane. You have to look. Good God, man. You have to have lost your damn mind. You know? And I thought we were equal. You have to be, good God, you have to be in a complete idiot. Well, all of them because freaking male petty. All the married men at my job are miserable. You know? Like, and I'm thinking, you know, shit shouldn't, shit shouldn't be like this. You understand what I'm saying? We supposed to have, um, Legit, just legit helpmates, correct? We're supposed to be getting served. Why are we serving them? Why? Why do we have to jump through hoops? Why do we have to do all this and that and that? He said, get a place so small that she can't move in. Shout out to Ronnie McDonald, man. 
Shout out to uh, Anana Moist. Can you play vid Tupac about women and bitches? Uh, which vid video is that? Send me the link or something like that. Post it in the comment section. Copy and paste. <laughs> this shit is it's, it's not even a it's not even fun. Like, okay, here's the thing. We so isn't dates supposed to be fun? Like why? Like we're stressing. Hopefully we say the we don't say the wrong things. Hopefully we say the right things. Hopefully we touch her the right way. Hopefully we tip the waitress the the, the perfect amount. Hopefully this. Hopefully that. We're so men are so worried about and getting the second date and third date and. It's like, come on, man. Like, you can't even have... Even if you wanted to take a woman on a date, guess what you're thinking in your fucking mind? Let me do everything perfect, okay? Did I do this? Okay. Let me... Come on, man. I don't want to... I don't want to have any, any, any... First of all, I'm already paying my hard-earned money. Why do I have to have anxiety if I'm, if I'm taking someone out on my dime? On my dime, and I'm still having anxiety. Come on, man. Y'all can have that lifestyle, bro. Sweating. You can't even... Concentrate, fam. It is. It is no danger, man. She, like, we're bro. We this ain't. This shit ain't. This shit ain't normal. We had lunch dates. Come on, man. Lunch dates. Coffee dates. This. This shit is rigged. Brunch. I, I can't believe this shit, man. Come on, man. This 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 ain't. This is not. Um, this is not the. This is not the way to go. You understand what I'm saying? They are not dates. They are polygraph interviews. Exactly. That's not. This is not life. It's not, man. Like that's that's why I just stop. I just stop, bro. It, it honestly, it, it's it, that that will make you lose testosterone over time. I wish women were how we imagine them to be. Exactly. I, and I did shout to Michael Douglas. I do as well. But guess what? You know, once I took the red pill, I said, fuck, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. This is this is really and I was laughing when I first took it. I started watching more videos and I just I just got sucked in. This is this is currently life. You as a as a man, this is your life. Ain't no ain't, it ain't no turning back, it ain't no Okay, well, let me try to tweak this. No. You're disposable. Go out to war. Jump through hoops. I noticed they do ask, and what do you do, etc. So... Exactly, because they want you to provide. They're not on a date, <laughs> bro. They're not on a date for you. They on a date for your resources, for your backbone, for you to work. Is he a viable candidate? Can he work? Can he give his all? Can he make me happy? Can he give me a dream house? You got it. Can you give her a dream house in exchange for some pussy, for some words of affection? That's it. That's not, that's not life. That, that, that's not, 
you're on an interview. That's not even that's not even fair. Can I mean can can you pay off can, can you pay off my student loan debt? Can I live with you so I can pay my debt off? That's not that's not fair. The and only thing we get is some vagina when she's ready to give it to you. Because again, it's not only at the at the estate. You can, you don't want no broad debts and debt. Any bid that goes to college is some sort of debt. Yo, Mac, shout out to the top. You like, you got some Apple here, earbuds. You get that laptop. No, I just got, I just got iPhone products. That's it. It's not, shout out to Crystal Lucas. It's not a fair trade. You know what I'm saying? Somebody sent me something. I'm just reading somebody. Somebody sent me a link. Dating. No, my daughter's chewed this shit up. Real talk, my daughter keep chewing on this shit. I'm like, y'all fucking hungry? <laughs> oh, get the Bo Bose headphones? I think that Bose, yeah. Women of financial means are my kind of kind. Just don't date, exactly. But it's so tempting because guess what? The only way, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a, you could tell it's fucking rigged, guys. The only way you are going to get affection is if you pay for it. Is if you give money for affection. You give money, she gives you affection. You pay for this, she gives you affection. You buy a house, she gives you affection. You take her to this place, and she gives you affection. You do this, if that's all is contingent on, bro. That's all it's based on. You know? What if I want my affection for free? Man, it's, it's tough. Shout out to Underdog Unchained. These simps out here is the only thing they live for. Shout out to Jeremy Rosas. Rosa. All right, um, should I even try to get a girlfriend? Why though? It's like, but it's it's so tough, bro. Cause God, we just fighting it. That's that's why guys are depressing. That's why guys are fighting it. Because okay, here's the thing. It, it's either you fight it and become stronger and become a better productive man and 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 and, and whatnot, or you give in, you say, you know what, I just won't, I'll, I'll go through whatever to get this affection. Me, I'm a fighter, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just fight it. You know, because I know the game is rigged, so I'm gonna have to fight it. I can get, I can give in and, and start courting and doing all this shit, but, um,
It is. You're just you're just a workhorse, man. You're just a workhorse. And when you can't fulfill when you can't fulfill her desires, man, it's, it's a wrap. That is, and when you think about it, it's, the more you think about it, it's just a shitty feeling to feel. It, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a shitty feeling. Is that he to succeed? Stop playing. Let me see if that's he to succeed for real. Is that he to succeed in this, in this spot? Hey, shout out to my brother, he to succeed. You in this motherfucker. Hey, got some great content over there. <laughs> he didn't succeed, man. But this is what's going on, man. Now I just want to get get some got some get some rare pill beauty and just some hardcore real shit. You only good enough until you can't give anymore. That that's that's just I I, I don't I mean I can't is that is that really the life for men? But that's it. That's what that's what it's about. You giving, she receiving, and when you can't give anymore, when she you're not giving how she wants, when you when you're not giving uh, what she wants, guess what? It's out of there. You out. You struck out. And guess what? You lost so much money. You lost so much you invested. That's why guys get depressed and commit suicide because they've given everything. They've worked, given their blood, sweat, and tears, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Like guys giving their blood, sweat, and tears. And then guess what? The court is cut because you're working so hard, you're grinding, you're working 60, 70 hours a week, and you can't be with beside your woman. You can't give with all that attention because you gotta grind to give her the lifestyle she wants. You gotta grind to to feed her, to feed the family, to do whatever the case may be. You gotta grind because you wanna make her happy. You gotta grind to see her happy. That's what you got to do. And I, I, I can't. Man, that's a tough game. Tough pill to swallow, bro. I can't swallow that pill. I can't, I mean, I can swallow that pill. But no, but I, I can't continue that. That's a lot of time, bro. Fuck, bro. Man, I, if y'all can waste that time. Go right ahead. Shout the fest of the midtown. Shout the cool killer. Just take the red pill. I got the link and I'm a moist. I don't, man, but I'm just telling y'all, I'm just thinking here like, ah, man. Like, damn, we disposable like that, bro? Like, like, we don't mean shit. All right. We, the shit is just real. That's it. It ain't about no having this defeatist attitude. It's about sitting the fuck down and saying, listen, what am I getting out of life from women, from the society? How do they view me compared to how they view her? Huh? That's what it's about. How do they view me? What do I have to do? What's my purpose? I should say, what's my role in 2018 compared to her role? Do I have? Do I always have to be, be the giver? Do 
Do I always have to give and give and give? Does she all, all that's all, all she has to do is receive? That's it? Just receive and I'm just giving and come on, man. That ain't, that ain't, that shit is, that's just bullshit, man. That ain't, that ain't it. Exactly, her role is to exist. Our role is to, we, we got a hard, that's why I say, man, just go midtown. Go fucking monk. Like, you ain't even losing shit or one monk. Like, you not being, don't have this, oh, I'm defeated, I, you know, I, I can't, I'm a, I'm, it's a, no, I just, guess what, guess who has the most peaceful life right now? A monk, period. Guess who has no worries or troubles? A monk, period. To be honest with you, who has no issues in a monk, period? Guess who has all issues? We, uh, well, not, not we, we do. These blue pills, these guys in the dating game. They have the issues. They're searching. They're praying. They're begging. Their whole life. Then, um, then they on that deathbed when they're 80, 90 years old and you sit there asking, so what was your biggest regret? Getting married. They dying. Men are dying just to get affection from a woman. Women don't think like us, like us. They don't, man. Like, God, man. Who's a lot of motherfuckers coming back from first dates and shit? Like, get the fuck out of here, man. That shit. Guess what? You think that bitch like you? Nah. Nah. Listen, it don't work like that. You paid your money. It don't work like that. At least if I pay a hooker or a prostitute, okay. I can get the pussy, I can get whatever. And then she, she can, listen, she can act like she likes me. She can act like she uh, cares about me for that hour, two hours, however long I pay to play with her. She can act. Plus, it's a great actress, yeah. Get in the hotel room, she, she acting. She acting, she, that woman, you paying her money, your time, guess what? She gonna act all right. She is going to act, but guess what? Only for that brief moment, if you get nothing. You understand what I'm saying? She was a young woman though, maybe like 25 or something. They may pull their emotion trick on someone else. It is rigged, man. That's why I like, that's why I told motherfuckers, man. Like, when I used to date and be in relationships, man, I used to think, like, man, I lost so much. I lost too much. It feels, I'm be 30, it feels like I'm, it feels like I'm 50. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm old as shit. It's because I, I, I had gave so much to different women in my life instead of focusing on you know, things that actually matter. I mean, I'm doing it now the past two, two and a half years since I've been, two years since I've been midtown. But man, just all that time that I focused so much on the female, it just wasn't enough. It's not enough for her. Shout out to Link, 057. On my first year, that's been $7. That's disgusting. 
and showing for women are money leeches. Here's the judge, and they expect you to still have energy to keep trying. And I told her, actually, you can go stand by a bar. Yeah. Come on, man. That's not, that's not even fun. Make it, like, listen, guys. I'm messing you guys. Just don't play the game. Just go your own way. That's all you got to do. Don't. don't. It, it's no point. The sooner you realize that you're better off looking within and saying, listen, man, get this. I don't, I don't, I, now, listen, hey, you might be depressed for a little. You might be up, half up and down, but guess what? The more you take the red pill, the more you come to the realization of, of, of this life that you have to live, how, how society sees men. Just turn on, just turn on, go to YouTube and turn on Child Support Court or check on Child Support Court. You see men getting destroyed, literally taken away. That, that, that's how they see us right now. ATMs, machines, take from them. And when you're done, so what? I don't care how they is. I don't care if they broken. I don't care if they homeless. I don't care if they can't afford it. I don't care if they they get they uh their kids ripped away from them. I don't care if they can't see their kids. Make him pay. Make him pay the alimony. Make him pay this. Give her the house. Give her everything. And then let's see, let's see how you can maintain for the rest of your life. If that's the lifestyle you want, then go ahead and live that, man. But I, I'm telling you right now, I don't want to live that lifestyle. Appreciate everybody for tuning in tonight. Um, I might go live uh, Sunday, which is tomorrow, actually, or today right now. Um, 12 p.m. a.m. Chicago time. Um, so I might go live tonight, tonight or, yeah, today. Um, peace.